Hi everybody, it's Amanda back with Amanda Rose Tarot and we're here today to do another pick a card reading for you. So the subject or theme of this particular reading is going to be what do they think of you? So we're using a couple different decks here. Um, first we're using the Cat Tarot, so we don't use this deck a lot. Um, sometimes it's hard for me to figure out what actually suit um, it is, so, um, but it is a cute deck, so I decided to use that. Uh, I'm also using the Zombie Tarot, and we're going to also get one card from the Messenger Oracle. So the icons that you have to pick from today, the first reading is going to be the gold glittery heart, um, the second reading is going to be the unicorn, and the third reading is going to be the rose. So I'm just going to be quiet, let you guys focus on which pile you're drawn towards, and then we will begin. Okay, so if you chose the first reading, the Gold Glittery Heart, let's see, what do they think of you? Okay, we've got the Seven of Swords. We've got the Chariot. We've got the Chariot again. We've got the Four of Wands. Maybe I'll turn on another light, you guys. Hold on. Okay, we've got more light. There we go. The Four of Wands. And lastly, we've got Seek Your Answers Within. Okay. So what is this person think of you? Well, the Seven of Swords can be a card of dishonesty. Um, so this person could find it a little bit hard to trust you. Um, this person could just be like holding tight, holding back a little bit because they're just on alert right now. They could be just, um, you know, they could, be, they could feel that there's pressure um, put on them, maybe. Um, but yeah, they could think that maybe um, they just aren't sure if you're deceptive yet. So they're kind of, on alert they're they're probably listening to everything that you say um closely they you know because they want to know are you you know this thief or are you um someone that i can trust so i think this person they're still trying to figure out can they trust you are you trustworthy um the chariot card so this is typically a card of um, having a lot of willpower to win, having the power to overcome obstacles. Um, it's like you're in charge of your life, like you get to decide what you're going to do. You know, it's, it's like this is my chair. If company comes over, you know, this is my chair, they know it. <laughs> so it's like, um, this person could just see you as like someone who's brave, someone who um, is a free, you know, to do what they want, um, just in control, you know, having the power to control what's going on in your life 
Um, in this chariot, we have a lot of casualties. <laughs> So this person, um, maybe they, they think you have a track re record for like, um, hurting people is kind of what I'm getting from that. So they could worry that maybe that's why they, you know, they have to keep an eye on you. They're not sure if they can trust you because maybe they, they've heard things about you that you have a track record for breaking people's heart. Um, they could definitely see movement with you. They could think that, you know, you want some progress there with them. So they could see you as wanting that, wanting to put the work in to move things forward. Um, And it talks about making a large purchase, you know, like a car that can hold all of these kitty cats, you know, like it says, um, hmm, plenty of extra leg room. So that could make me think that um, you're dealing with a tall person. There's a tall person, somebody's tall. So they need extra leg room. That's gonna resonate for somebody out there. Um, there could be something about your car that they like. There could be something about your car they like because we've got the chariot here twice. So they could think you've got a cool car. Maybe they think you drive a little bit recklessly though maybe they do think you're a little reckless and you're gonna end up killing somebody. Um, maybe, let's see, what else do they think of you? Um, this person, the Four of Wands, you know, to me is about celebrating good times, spending time together. Um, here it's like a birthday party I think is what's going on that's what it looks like um, maybe they think that you like to party maybe they think that um, you like to celebrate with your friends uh, you celebrate a lot with friends and family um, or they could think that uh, to be with you would be like a celebration, it would be fun. Um, maybe they're, they, they, they're thinking about making plans with you, but this is what do they think of you. They think that you like to celebrate, you like to have fun with friends. Um, you know, you like to eat cake. You like to open presents. <laughs> um, so yeah, they, they think you like to party, you like to celebrate, you like to have fun. And they like that about you. They like that about you. But at the same time, you know, they're, they, they're a little bit distrustful of you. But this person, as far as if it's like a love connection, yeah, this person thinks that you want movement with you them you want to move things forward with them um let's see card number 36 seek your answers within um this person could think that maybe you're a little bit silent maybe they think that lately you've been kind of holding back it could be something to do with like your heart. Maybe they think you've gone into hibernation, like despair. Um, but they could think that you're just silent. Maybe you're going within, you know, you're trying to get answers. Um, 
but I feel kind of like holding back a little bit. They could be confused. They could think that maybe you just, um, you keep to yourself too much. You, you step away from them sometimes and they just don't know what what's going on with you what's your truth so that could be why this person doesn't trust you maybe because you step away you pull back and they think well i better keep my eye on this person because um they're kind of flighty you know so that could be you know part of the distrust um but they definitely think that you have a lot of willpower determination to make things happen in your life to you know just a powerful person you can make things happen and you do like to have fun you do like to have a lot of fun um this person could really think that you you could see like within their heart because we've got this eye inside this heart. So this person could really think that you you are able to see them. So they could think maybe you're intuitive, like you, um, they would turn to you for the answers because you would have the answers. That's what I'm getting here. If you pick this first pile, um, that's about all I'm getting, but really good what they think of you. Except for the distrust, but I think it's, yeah, like I said, because maybe they think you are holding back, you go into hibernation sometimes, and they just don't know why you do that, why you hold back, or you step back. So that's what I'm getting if you pick number one. If you would like a personal reading, then check out the link to my Etsy below. I would love to do a reading for you over there. I also have a Patreon page where I have exclusive videos for $5 a month. You can get access to, I think there's about 70 pick a card videos over there, something like that. So um, just check it out if you're interested. so if you pick the unicorn let's see what do they think of you okay we've got the star pretty card we've got the queen of wands we've got the fool We've got the Ace of Hazards. That's the Pentacles in this tarot. And we've got Nurture All You Love, card number 30. So 30 could, you know, be a number. Um, let's see. What does this person think of you? Um, well, this person with the star card, this person could think that um, you're an optimist. Like you look at the glass half full. Um, let's see. This person could um, think that you, maybe this person sees you as a star. You know, maybe this person sees that you have star quality. Uh, this person, this person could think that you, you've changed. Maybe this person thinks that you've changed or you've um, grown. You, you're going through some sort of transformation. Uh, maybe this person thinks that you're healing some things. But they really think that you, you're, you're doing pretty good, you know? You, 
you're figuring things out you're healing um you know you're just you're just doing better as far as your emotions um the queen of wands here so this person could think you're really attractive they could think that you um are really cute uh this person they could see you as uh someone who likes to play and have fun but also likes to um maybe nap take little naps <laughs> So you like to play, have fun, but you also don't mind taking a little sleepy time. Um, this person could think that you're just a really confident person, strong, capable, fearless, ambitious. Um, you just have a lot of good qualities about you. Um, just a, a really strong person independent fearless um, you just have a lot of faith in yourself in your future um, but you also like that time where you can just curl up and take a nap um, so you're there's a good balance between like work and play is what I get here or work and rest it could be this person um, they like uh, your home they think that you're co it's cozy um, it's comfortable if they've been to your home they they think it's really cozy um, yeah, it could be that this per person wants to visit you at your home is kind of what I'm getting here. Um, so it could be they like, they like spending time with you. They think you're fun to be around. Um, if this is uh, a romantic relationship, I think this person wants to take you on a date. Is kind of what I'm getting with the fool card here because it kind of looks like you know he's he's taking her somewhere you know it's like the first date or something like that so it could be this person um, they like you you know they think you're cute they think you're attractive hot even with the fire here um, and they want to take you on a date maybe it's it was a bumpy beginning because it talks about that here it was like a, a rocky start but this person it could be that they want to um go on adventures with you do fun things with you uh go on dates with you you know if it was a bumpy start they they want to try again is what i'm getting if this is romantic you know I'm getting attraction here, so I think it's, a lot of you it is um, a romantic person. Um, the Ace of Hazards, so this person could think that um, you just have a lot of good luck. They could think that you just, um, you know, it's like uh, from the other side, you know, you get assistance, like they're always, um, giving you a helping hand so they could think your spirit guides really clear the path for you and make sure that um you know you you find these opportunities you're always lucky um they could also think that uh if if you're a woman you know they they like your jewelry maybe it's bracelets or rings or um, your nails or something like that. It could be this person. They like that. They, they like that about you. Um, 
maybe they think that you're very helpful like you're always uh, offering a helping hand um, or you just maybe your hands look like they've worked hard like they've like you you've been a hard worker they could think that uh, for some of you and we've got a watch here and I didn't realize that before but this is um, this is a watch so it could be that they think that you um, I'm getting like uh, you they want you to give them the time of day maybe they don't think that you give them enough time maybe they want more time with you is kind of what I'm getting with that they think that you should give them more time and attention um, because we've also got the nurture all that you love so it could be like um, they want more time because they they like being with you you're cozy you you know you're like you're fun to be with they enjoy um, being with you it's like really comforting so maybe like um, they've been to your home and they feel it's like really comfy um, and nurture all you love so this person really they could if they feel like maybe you've neglected them a little bit they want more time with you they want to grow things to grow with you um, this person really cares about you and they want more attention from you um, they you know because this says right in it take time to nurture and the things that you love so that they can grow so they I feel like they want more time with you to spend together but we've got the hands here twice so it could be this person really likes something about your hands here is what I'm getting um, but yeah this person definitely they want you to give them more time if this is like the beginning of a relationship because we've got an ace here this could be the beginning of a relationship and they just want more care and attention um, they they don't want to be neglected they because you really fulfill them so really cute message I'm getting with this pile so that's what this person thinks of you so um, thank you guys so much for coming thank you for your likes your shares your subscribes um, if you would like a personal reading then check out my link to my Etsy below I would love to do a reading for you Okay, and last but not least, if you picked the rose, let's see, what do they think of you? Okay, we've got the Seven of Pentacles, I believe. We've got the Eight of Cups. We've got the Five of Wands. We've got the Nine of Wands. And we've got Trust in Magic, card number 47. Okay, so what does this person think of you? Um, this person well, with the Five of Wands, this person could think that maybe there was some sort of conflict between you guys, or maybe they felt like there's um, there's a third party situation. So it could feel like there's um, there's competition. This person could think that if this is you know a romantic connection that there's someone else that there's two people that are like battling for your attention so they could think that um, they have to be quick because it, it could be someone else 
would want to be with you so they could feel like ultimately they want to win if there's like um someone else like some competition they want to win so this person really could think that you're their prize you would be their prize um the nine of wands that's um it's persistence that's the key word with this card persistence so this person really um they could be very devoted or obsessed with you they could think that um they're just super satisfied with you like maybe this person when you see them they're they smile they're just smiling a lot and it's because they are satisfied with you they like you they think you do a great job whatever you do um they think that you are just such a catch like there's so many people that like you they could think there's so many people that like you and they could worry that you know someone else is going to get in a romantic connection with this person before me so they could be thinking i have to be quick about this i have to be with this person i want to be with this person so they really could think um of you as wanting to be with you wanting something more wanting to change things um but in a positive direction definitely um the eight of cups this person it could be that um they're trying to examine like their feelings they're trying to figure out what they're feeling about you like i think they know that they want to take action but they're just kind of like stuck in this feeling of maybe i'm gonna get disappointed um you know maybe i'm not gonna be able to attain this even though they're persistent and they do want to move forward with you they could feel like um, they just don't know when they need to take this action. But they could be kind of stuck, like um, examining how they're feeling. And they could feel like, oh, I'm not happy with the way things are. I know things have to change, but how do I go about it? You know, I, I know I get, I've got to do something. So they're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about what's their next move going to be. Um, because they, they don't want to lose out if they are one of your, you know, your options as far as a partner, um, They could, um, they could think that you're really smart here with the, uh, the seven of pentacles. They could think that you, you're just really smart. Like you could get these treats out of this little hole. Like, wow, how you can always figure things out. So they could think that you are really really good at figuring things out and I also said that with a nine of wands like they think you're good at what you do if you know things are stuck they think that you could maybe come up with some plan to um help get things the ball rolling so to speak but they could think things seem like overwhelming to them they really could think that this is overwhelming to them um what do i do <laughs> is kind of what i'm getting from this person so they want to be with you they really want to be with you but they're not sure how to move forward um and do it just do it that's my advice just do it but uh yeah this person um 
they are going to make a move because they know that they can't not make a move because like I said, they could think that, you know, there's other people that are going to get at you. And then we've got trust in magic. So this person could think that you are very mysterious. They could think that you're magical. They could think that you are all knowing. Maybe they think um, you know things. Maybe they think you have this voice that helps you like your spirit guides or messengers that help you, that show you the way. Um, so they could think that, you know, wow, she's got a lot of spirit guides here um, and they love her. So this person could really think that you are just a magical person. They could think that you are someone who's into magic or things like that. They could think that you, um, you're not afraid of magic or spells or anything like that. So they could see you as a little bit witchy maybe, but they just think that you're, you're very smart. They do know that with this card and this card, the raven and this, this cat. Um, so it, yeah, this person definitely thinks you have some sort of abilities, like you're able to know things that other people don't know. Um, so they could think your spirit guides or messengers that tell you things. They definitely think you're very loving. They do think you're a loving person. Um, they could think that, you know, maybe you're the, you're the type that would do the dishes, make sure the sink's cleaned. Um, Yeah, I just think this person really, you know, they do want to be with you. They do. There's a lot of things that they like about you. And they know other people that recognize that too. There's a lot of people that notice you, that like you, is what I'm getting here. So that's what I have for you if you pick this last reading, The Rose. So thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, as I always say. Um, and if you would like a personal reading, then go check out my Etsy. Uh, the link is below. I also have a Patreon page where I have exclusive videos. There's, I think, over 70 videos over there. And all you have to do is um, pledge $5 a month, which you can cancel at any time. And you will have immediate access to all of those videos. So go check it out if you're interested. But as always, sending you love, light, and blessings. And I will talk to you again very soon. Bye-bye.